What's up guys, it's your boy Demone, and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. So, you don't want to build Terra Norgard. Or, you might not have Kisei. <laughs> or yet. In today's video, guys, I wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about some replacements uh, that you can run in your Women 11 comp. Uh, if you guys are prepping for Women 11 and you're kind of like unsure what to do. Uh, so I want to go over some, well, A, I want to talk about, uh, you know, my team. And then B, I want to go over some replacements for each of the units that you guys can swap and switch out. And we'll talk about some circumstances uh, that you can apply to your game to really help you uh, fine-tune your team. Okay, so looking at this uh, this team composition, you guys see my Angelica's in the front. Uh, she's rocking with like 17,500 HP, about 1,300 defense. Uh, my Terranor is on the six-star uh, lifesteal set, uh, this, the, the vamp, the, the lifesteal hit set uh, from the Abyss. Uh, he's rocking about 61% effectiveness because of the hit set, about 89% crit, 190% crit damage or something like that, or maybe it's only 170, and about 2,600 attack. Okay, my Kisei is crazy. Uh, she's at 279 crit damage, uh, about 3k attack. Uh, with 99% crit rate on a full crit set, and then Deanne is at 11,000 HP. She's just kicking it giggity giggity on Celestine, <laughs> just to kind of support Angelica. So when you look at this team composition, I get the question all the time, who can replace Deanne? To be honest, um, pretty much anybody. Like literally any water healer, Montmo, Aether, anything can replace the end um you guys got to understand that the way that my team is set up when you look at this angelica is my front line uh strong front line candidates crows in basque okay um crow tywin pretty much any water front line tank hell i mean if you guys got xeno and you guys don't have anything else you guys can front line with them too um but when you look at this if, especially if you guys are still in the position where you guys are running two spirit weavers uh the primary purpose of the person underneath the spirit weaver so where my dn is at is to sustain the healer so however you guys can do that is how you guys make that happen so if you guys like well i don't have dn who can i use Montmo, aether you guys can pretty much chunk any healer in there. If your damage is good enough on your Yuna, uh, you can chunk Yuna in there with Bloodstone, and you guys can run that too. If you guys are in the position where you guys are running DN and she's not fast enough, or if you guys are running a healer in that position that's just not fast enough, uh, Magaraha's Tome uh, to increase the combat readiness of that said healer uh, can really help you out in increasing the combat readiness and getting that healer the turn the turns that you need in order to sustain whoever your front line is. Now, when you look at the front line, pretty much anybody else can go there. You don't necessarily need Angelica. You don't necessarily need DN. Um, it's just a matter of understanding the mechanics and getting your front line tanky enough to sustain uh, to a point where whoever your secondary support is, is able to heal. So like key artifacts that you guys can look at um, is like I said, Magaraha's Tome. Uh, again, Celestine, uh, Shimadra Staff is good. If your heal, whoever, whatever heal you've selected that will basically take the end spot, um, is um, you know basically a primary healer, meaning that they have more than one heal skill that can be very effective. So if you guys opt to do Aether, Shamadra can work well. Now the key thing here is you guys want to pay attention is, like I said, get enough. Um, well, if you don't have enough speed, Magaraha's Tome can really help you out. If you do have enough speed, Magaraha's Tome can really help you out. <laughs> And then if you have enough speed on that unit and making sure that they get the turn, uh, the turns that they need in order to sustain your front line, uh, you can pretty much mix and match with any artifacts that work for your team. Okay. Now, when you guys look at my team, I want to talk to you guys about some some issues that I have right now that if I sort it out, it will make my runs more efficient. Uh, for instance, like my Kisei, my, my Angelica's on Idol's Cheer, so she's boosting my Kisei pretty much all the time. Now, what that creates is a little bit of a disparity because my Terranor is the one that I need to go first because I need him to land a defense break, especially since his defense break is only one turn. So, for instance, if I had a defense breaker there in Terranor's spot, a.k.a. Karin, um, who was faster than Kisei with more attack power, and then I can position Karin in a way that she gets most of the turns, which keeps her cooldowns lower, which allows her to keep defense break applied, right? And then with the extra turn, let's say I put her on like... Uh, like a uh, Dust Devil or a RNL or anything like that, then Karin can definitely fill that slot. Um, and then let's say Kisei, um, if I chose Kisei as my primary damage, then she can fulfill the role of maximizing her damage. So with that being said, 
Terranor's responsibility in this team comp is just to apply defense break. So pretty much any kind of defense break in that situation is good. So if you guys are looking at my comp, you guys see that I have Terranor guards skills turned off because all I want him to do is break defense. And the reason that is is because he only has a one turn death break. So Karin, of course, she would leave her skills on because you wanted to do her thing. If you guys opted to go for Clarissa, the crazy nun, um, she's also really good as well because she has the two-turn death break. Now, the strategy that I just mentioned with making sure that, you know, whoever your death breaker is has high, the highest attack power on the team is really effective because you want the unit that has the death break or the chance to land death break to have basically the most turns, essentially, uh, in ter for efficiency purposes. So that way they can just keep going, keep applying death break. And then whoever else um, is on your team, whether it's Kisei, or let's say you guys are doubling up with Karin and Clarissa, where you guys are just running some other damn sailor like a cigarette or Alexa, okay, uh, cheapest case scenario, um, that will allow you to maximize your damage output. Okay, so when you, when you guys look at the format of my team, and again, this is not the only format that you can run. This is just pretty much a generic format that you guys can follow. Um, but you're basically looking at some some kind of defense breakwater element in the top, okay? Um, some kind of frontline support that's uh, basically able to take the damage. And then whoever's replacing the end is normally going to be somebody that can just sustain your frontline, period. That's it. Okay, and then in terms of Kisei, I know everybody's calling Kisei the god of Wyvern 11, but there's plenty of other unit combinations in terms of water damage that you could run, especially Alexa, she's the top choice. Some people are even saying that she's probably able to deal more damage uh, than most other units um, in this. Now, I haven't tested this yet, so that's just hearsay, uh, but Alexa definitely is the viable, 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 viable option if you guys are building and trying to construct a team. So, you know, as I talk about before, guys, you know, finding replacements for these units uh, that you guys see in my videos or you guys see on stream it's just a matter of again grasping the mechanics uh, of said dungeon and then just building around it and then as you fine-tune you optimize you get better gear then you're able to tweak make your runs faster swap units out maybe go all damage maybe run bloodstone on a hunter and take all your healers out you know just run like a tank and then like a damage dealer with life not life steal but like bloodstone like say if you guys ran yuna on bloodstone with the enough with enough heal to sustain your team so with that being said guys that's all i wanted to cover today is i just kind of wanted to give you guys a glimpse and if you guys have seen me running and you guys don't really know what to do or you guys are confused as to who to use i just wanted to pretty much lay out like a basic format of things that you guys are looking for in your specific team composition so you guys can find replacements accordingly because let's say maybe you don't like kisei maybe you don't like uh you know maybe you don't like uh Terranor guard maybe you don't want to build him because he's a three-star and you don't want to waste the time uh you know whatever the circumstances for you you got to find what you like and what works best for you so i wanted to provide that information so you guys can fill in those gaps however you guys see fit so with that being said guys thank you guys so much for tuning in if you guys got any questions comments concerns definitely pop into the twitch channel twitch.tv forward slash demon kim live and ask there um and Love y'all, man. Appreciate all your support, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.